Today we're going to talk about something called scopes within JavaScript. And when it comes to scopes, we basically have two different types. We have a global scope and we have a local scope. Now to give you guys an idea about what exactly a scope is, I'm going to go ahead and make an example for you guys so you can actually see it. And as you guys can see, I do have a very basic website here. I just have a script tag inside the body tag. There's nothing special here. And inside my script tags, I have a function. Now, right now the function is empty. There's nothing inside of it. So if I were to actually go ahead and, you know, use the function and write it out inside the website, you guys can see when I refresh, there's nothing. Now, if I were to say, okay, what if I have a variable outside this function, I'm going to declare it with va, and I'm going to go ahead and call this one person. I'm going to set it equal to my name, just so we have something to spit out. Now, if I were to take this variable and use it inside my function, I can do that because this variable is outside in the global scope. Now, what that means is that it's outside a function and can be used by any kind of script you might be writing with JavaScript. So if we were to actually go inside my function, say documents dot write parentheses, which simply writes out something inside the browser. I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to write out the variable called person. So if we'll go ahead and save this refresh, you guys can see it says Daniel. Now, because the variable is outside in a global scope, like I said, we can use it inside a function. But what if I were to take this variable and put it inside my function? Now it's inside the local scope of this function here, meaning that this function can actually use this variable. If I were to refresh my browser, you guys can see it still says Daniel because this function can use Daniel. But let's say we go down and delete the function. As you guys can see, I refresh the website. We don't get anything because we're not actually calling on the function. If I were to go down here and just simply say document write person, which is the variable we have inside the local scope. If I were to save this, you guys can see we get nothing. And that's because our variables inside the local scope of this function here. So we can actually use it down here. Okay. So that's the basic idea behind local and global scopes. You need to make sure that if you want to create variables that you want to use in multiple functions, you need to have it outside in a global scope. If you have a variable or some kind of data that you only want to use inside a certain function, then you can create it inside the local scope like we've done here. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.